What's up, Elevate Church family? What's going on? We got the three amigos here today, and we're all wearing hats. Did you all notice this? Yeah. <laughs> we, didn't, yeah. <laughs> we didn't even plan this. We all just showed up with hats. <laughs> but uh, today we're going to talk about grit. We're on day six of our fasting and praying. And uh, the word grit simply means a willingness to do whatever it takes. And Come you know on. what? Mm. Not many people are willing to do whatever it takes. Nope. That's how when you think about even those that have any form of great success and prosperity, it's the 1% yeah. of the people yeah. Yeah. in our world, like the 1%. And so uh, the blessing of God, as we talk about grit, guys, goes hand in hand with the effort we're willing to put forth. That's a responsibility that we have to go ahead and and really put our grit, and it's not grit, Stephen. Not yeah. grits. <laughs> not grits. No, okay, not man, grits. I was hungry. I got grits. all hungry. <laughs> I know you did. Man, like, I know. What the heck? I know. You're looking at me like grits. <laughs> grits. Grits. But uh, Romans 15, 4, let me just lay one quick scripture, and then these guys have something to share. But everything written in the past was written to teach us. Yeah. I love this. It says the scripture gives us strength to go on. It's the word that gives us strength to keep going. And it says, they encourage us and give us hope. I love the fact that men of our past, women, disciples, we're talking about people of God have given us the courage in the Bible as we read stories like Gideon, Samson, David, mm -hmm. Peter, Paul. They have, they have taught us how to keep going and not pushing back and not yeah. holding back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. what are your guys' thoughts? Well, even to kind of jump off of that with you, you're in Romans, um, I have Romans 18, uh, Romans 8, 18 here, and it says, what we are suffering now is nothing compared with our future glory. And my take on that is it's like the kind of, hard work you put in that grit that discipline is going to you know give you results you know yeah. you reap what you sow and i love what you said you know i was going to touch on it but you actually said it um how it's the one percent that have that massive success because that is such a hard character characteristic yeah. to have within within yeah. you yeah. you know what i mean so yeah i love that that's so good how about you yeah talk to us elliot so i have um you know i heard uh, effort I, and and I, I want to read Colossians 3, 23. It says, put your heart and soul in every activity you do as though you are doing it for the Lord himself and not merely for others. Mm. And I like that it says your heart and your soul in every activity, which, yeah. I mean, for men, it can be in, in your workplace, in your marriage. For us, it can be in, in our volunteers, in serving, you know, in everything you do. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessarily for the other people. It's doing it for God first. Yeah, and then it's, it's for the people we're doing Amen. this for God first and then you're going to receive what we're giving yeah. and that's what I got out of this um, this scripture and, and that's good because you know what I think sometimes people can do things for someone mm -hmm. when it comes especially when it comes to the body of Christ like yeah. you know everything we do we do it unto God yeah. and not to man because he's the one that we ultimately want to please yeah. but one of the things is uh, is is key in order to keep greed or to maintain the the, the grit that we're talking about or is 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 being able to maintain the interest of not giving up the interest mm, of yeah. not allowing ourselves yeah. you know to to let things like example like despite failure despite adversity despite uh plateaus yeah come on yeah i don't know about you man but i've had some major plateaus yeah in 2020 yeah. in 2021 i'm just trying not to plateau myself <laughs> yeah but it's 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 allowing God to to continually through his word to teach us as yeah. we're fasting, as we're praying, as we're seeking God to not lose our grit, yeah. our grind, yeah. right? To not allow us, ourselves to let failure keep us from becoming the man that yeah. God's calling us to be or the woman, yeah. you know, uh, and not allowing mistakes and and setbacks to be the very thing that dictates whether or not we're going to keep pushing forward. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you allow God to condition yourself yeah. to be a, a, a kind of person that is, you know, full of perseverance. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and I think it goes hand in hand with passion, you know. Yeah. In order to have grit, you need to have that passion for the Lord to be able to give you that strength to do everything. 
um, the way he wants to do it onto him. Yeah. And everything else will flow out of it. Well, and then even from that comes vision. Yeah. You know, yeah. and we could go all day with that yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> you Man, know? But yeah. I love what you're saying because I do believe it starts with grit. Yeah. yeah. It all yeah. starts right there. Yeah. And 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 greedy people believe everything is going to be all right at the end. Of whatever it is you're going through. Mm. That's greedy people, man. Yeah. yeah. We have to be greedy, not greedy. Gritty. 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 Yeah. Gritty. Yeah. That's faith right there too. Gritty people yeah. and uh and know that Jesus still has the victory Amen. for us. Yeah. So let me give you a, a quick uh, acronym for grit. The G stands for goals, okay? Mm -hmm. It's what fuels passion. Goals mm -hmm. is what fuels the passion. That's the yeah, G. Yeah. The R is be radical. Okay, yeah. refuse to allow the status quo determine what you're going to do yeah. or not. Yeah. The other one is identity. And I've been talking a lot about this in church late, lately, but identify what you have. Okay, money is not always a solution. Greedy people are creative. Come yeah. on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Be creative in this time. And the team stands for teamwork. No, no one ever achieves their maximum potential on their own. We need That's each other. That's why us three guys, man, yeah. we're right here together. Yeah. Yeah. We're pushing forward with the G-R-I-T. Let's on. get our grit. Let's go. Yeah. Peace. Come on.